It is a new month, May 1st, Monday morning. It's currently 1010 in the morning, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And we're gonna do a dealership light video today. Before we get started with that, I wanna tell you about a project that I took on uh, yesterday on Sunday. It was a very rainy day here in New Jersey. So I went in the garage and uh, if you remember the past, I talked about the Chevrolet Bolt and how I don't care for the, it's not that I don't care for it. I didn't like the fact that the front grille portion on the LT is gray and the rest of the car is black. If you get a Premier, it's body color, whether it be blue, red, black, white, whatever. So I always thought about wrapping it the same color as the car. So I went on Amazon to look for like a, a mosaic black wrap, like a wrap that's black, but with the silver metallic in it. And they have it. However, when you look at the pictures of that people posted and you look at the wrap itself, it looks like the silver metallic content is much more than the car itself, like the Chevrolet color. So I didn't want to put on something that was going to be that much different than factory. So I thought to myself, why don't I just do something completely different and do like a forged carbon look? So I bought this wrap here which is you know again it's a simulated forged carbon look and i wasn't really too sure what i thought about it when i put it on if i would like it i did the job yesterday and by the way hats off to people who wrap vehicles now this piece had like we'll look at it in the we'll look at the piece that i wrapped in the front but i gotta tell you the time it would take to wrap an entire car and do it nicely it, i mean that's a skill that's an art i guess it comes with time uh i can honestly say after wrapping this little small portion of the grill not something i want to get into now the car is dirty because it rained. I left it out overnight. Um, I tell you, looking at it now, I don't, I don't mind it. You know, I really want your opinion. So what do you think? Do I leave it the way it is? Basically, I wrap this section here, right? So you can see how the light will catch it. I should probably aim it towards the sun more. You'd see how the light can kind of catch the look of it. Not horrible. The only thing now I think is that this is dark. I want to do this lower portion as well. And if I do the lower portion here, that means I'm gonna have to do the lower portion on the back down here to make it look even. And then the question is, do I do these as well to make that look even in a sense? And if I did that at that point, the only thing that would really pop on the vehicle would be the alloy wheels. Everything else would be you know, pretty much blacked out. Okay, I just aimed the car into the sun. This is kind of what I don't like about it. I don't like the fact that the light picks up on certain portions and gives you that uh, that real light sparkle look. Now wrapping it was quite the job because not only is it bent outward, it's also bent inward and you have like a texture to the actual panel itself. Like it's all like little concave sections. I think I did a pretty good job. There's one flaw right here that I couldn't quite get out, but it blends in because of the pattern, you know, the pattern on the wrap. <laughs> Honest thoughts. It's a lot. <laughs> it is, right? <laughs> it's the sparkles. Oh it's the way the sun God. shines off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When the sun's not hitting it directly, I don't think it looks bad. What are you going to do? Probably pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> I think a, like a different design. That's what I was just saying. I was going to do the mosaic black. But the problem is it has too much, it looks like it has too much metallic in the paint or okay. in, the, in the wrap so it won't match the car. Okay. I'm wondering if it's better if I just paint the piece. It's probably the way to go then. Right. It'll just look like a premiere. It'll be body color. Yeah. Because now I was saying if I wrap this, do I wrap the portion at the bottom that's silver? And then if I wrap that, do I wrap the one in the back? And if I wrap the one in the back, do I do the one where the roof rack is? Dude, it's gonna be too it much. It did not come out like the way I thought it would. It's gonna be I'm too sorry. much. No, I agree. Like, it feels like the car is damaged. <laughs> <laughs> the way I was seeing it in my head. It's the way the light reflects know, off it. Know, That's the I problem. Know, exactly. It came out good. I oh, mean, yeah, it took me some job. time to do it. But well, I also I broke. You. I broke a clip on this, so it sticks in there. But I broke uh, one of the, the tabs that hold it in oh, place. Yeah? I'm just glad that I didn't take the whole front fascia off because I was going to do that. I was going to take the front fascia off the vehicle to then wrap it that way. I wrapped it while it was on the car and just cut around it. And I'm glad I did that where I didn't pull the whole car apart. It looks different, right, with the sun not hitting it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to rip it off.
First order of business is to make sure a car trailblazer is getting PBI'd and it is because it's no longer parked right here. I had that going out later today. I also came in slightly early today. I'm doing it at 11. It's right now 1040. I have a customer coming in that has an Equinox lease that's ending. So she's gonna come down. We're gonna talk about a new Equinox lease. I'm down to two. I have this one, which is a 2023 and I have this one, which is a 2022. And that is all I have at the moment. Uh, right now we are a dealership that is full of three vehicles, Trailblazer, Traverse, Silverado. That's pretty much it. No tracks sold out, Equinox only two, one Malibu here, one inside. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So we're still having the same inventory issues, but whatever, we're making it work. Well, ladies and gents, we sold the Trailblazer. Didn't record nothing as far as the process because it's tough to film and sell a car at the same time, especially when you're trying to sell a car that you don't have on what is really the last day of the month for us. My customer wanted a, uh, an Equinox to replace their Equinox lease. Like I mentioned just a little bit earlier before in the video, we don't have anything other than that one LS and we have the one RS. So we gotta try to get one from one of the other stores. It's gonna turn into a May deal, which uh, is not a problem because their lease doesn't expire until the end of May. So we actually have some time. This Trailblazer, which I didn't realize they were actually coming for two cars. They have a 2012 Impala that they wanna trade in for a new vehicle. So they traded the Impala in for this lease that they're gonna do uh, that they're gonna do here today on the last day of the month. Just running it to the gas station, bring it to detail, get it ready, and uh, we'll get it on the road. When I'm driving over to the gas station, I always like to tune to Sirius XM's Lithium, channel 34, little sound garden here. Good station. We're walking out to my car. Mike's gonna give us his opinion on what the uh, the front grill portion looks like. We'll get his honest uh, feedback, honest feedback on the spot. It's weird, but it's different. It's weird, but it's different. Here's the problem. I think if you leave it, you might like it. I'm gonna leave it, I don't know. I might not make the rest of the day. The thing is, the sun's not on it. When the sun hits it, all these white spots are like reflectors. Yeah. And that's what I don't I like about it. it's gonna affect other drivers, you're saying, or it just bothers No, 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 you? it just bothers me the way it looks. That's not that bad. It's not horrible. I mean, people wrap their entire car with something like this. I would keep it for a week. Keep it for a week, see what I think. See what you think. All right, so Mike says, keep it for a week, see what I think. I did put a poll up on Instagram, and uh, right now it's running like 49% to 50%. So it's like a dead even uh, a dead even poll at the moment. I don't know, jury's out. What? Jury's out. What does it even mean? It means I haven't made a decision whether I like it yet or not. So you're in deliberation. Somewhat. So Mike told me to keep it on for a week. Yeah, and it'll keep it on for a week and see. Because you can take it off at any point. So Correct. why just go and pull it off and then question, well, maybe should I just waited it out? I mean, I first looked at it and at first it kind of like was like, wait, what's this? Right. But then looking at it again, I was like, it kind of breaks up that front end. Did the a sun bit hit more. it or was it? It was getting reflection off car in front of it. Okay, because so. the reflection is what throws me off. I'd yeah. give it a week at least. Try it out. This is the other trailblazer that I have to deliver. Pre-delivery inspection is done, so we're gonna go fill it with gas. I like to fill it with gas before the car is washed and detailed. This way, I don't have to bring it out, right? When they get here, the car is ready to go. We can do the OnStar call, we can do all the paperwork, we can show them how things work, pair of cell phones, all that good stuff, and they're on the road. I don't have to be bothered with doing something like taking it to the gas station, you know, after the customer's already here. Now you know the drill, right? So we're gonna go gas the vehicle. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our seatbelt on so we can be uh, safe in the vehicle. And then what's the second thing we're gonna do? We're gonna go on audio. We're gonna go on audio. 
we're gonna hit Sirius XM, we're gonna hit Tune, 34, Lithium, Beastie Boys. Excellent song. My 2024 Chevrolet Trax LT here is all ready to go for delivery. I wanted to make a quick video about the Trax versus the Trailblazer, but unfortunately, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna have enough time because the customer's gonna be here in about a half hour to take delivery. Once they take delivery of this Trax, we are sold out of the Trax again. And there's really one thing that's very important that I have to do first. 